Okay, good morning my students of Batch 12. Back again with Mr. Hazim in a new lesson of our interchange, I mean the second book of interchange, book 2. Okay, back again as we have said in a new, in a new unit. Our unit today is unit 6 as you see. And looking at the board that we are going to deal with, this is our division of the board. Here we have the new vocabulary. Then we have our grammatical rule, which our focus of today's lesson. Then we have the learning objectives. Okay? Looking at the learning objectives, so by the end of our unit, I mean by the end of our lesson today, we have to get to know how to practice using two-part verbs to make requests. I mean to make orders. Okay? Then how to practice using will exactly and try to underline will because it's our focus today. Will for responding or replying to that request. So, as for our grammatical rule, the title here is two part verbs. Then will for responding to requests. So, there is something I would like to pay your attention for, which is when I say two part verbs, I mean phrasal verb, exactly phrasal verb. So what is meant by phrasal verb? Honestly speaking, phrasal verb is a phrase, okay, consisting of a main verb followed with either a preposition or an adverb, or both together. For example, here we have take, then we have after. If we look at take, it's a main verb. For example, I take my, let's say, my, my car, okay, I take my car to the mall, or I took my car to the mall, okay, as a simple past tense. Then we have after as an adverb. If I combine between take and after, it's gonna be what we mean by phrasal verb. So, take after. Pay attention to something. The verb as it is has a meaning which is much more separate from the adverb or the preposition that comes after. So, when I combine both of them, I mean, when I combine between the main verb and the adverb, it gives me another meaning totally different from the meaning of take and after. So, when I say take after, what does it mean? So, nurses take after their patients, which means to take care of someone. Okay, so that is what, been, what is meant by two part verbs. Again, it means phrasal verb. Looking at our board again, here we have how to use the phrasal verb with the noun, how to use it with the pronoun referring to that noun, and the last step of our lesson, which is how to make a request and how to respond or reply to that request using what? using the well exactly or mainly well okay as for the first part of our grammatical rule how to use phrasal verb with nouns for example here we have phrasal verb like turn down okay so turn down the tv which means what when i use the noun or when i use the phrasal verb with the noun here the noun should come after the preposition. So, ever, never say, okay, I mean, turn down the TV. Or we can say, turn the TV down. So, here we have the option, or it's up to you. Either we use the noun after the preposition or between the main verb and the preposition. So, both are correct. So, we can say what? Turn down the TV or turn the TV down. Okay? Let's have one more example. So, pick up. Okay? How to pick up. How to take something up or up from the ground. So, pick up your things. Okay? Pick up your things. Or I can say, pick your things up. So, both are correct again. Right now, how, how we can use our phrasal verb with the pronouns? So, what is the pronoun referring to TV? Bearing in your mind that TV is singular. So, here, the pronoun referring to TV is it. Okay? And what about that pronoun?
now referring to your things. So your things it's plural. Okay. So here our pronoun referring to it is them. Okay. How can we use our present verb with the TV and your things? Honestly speaking, here we have to say turn it down. Take into consideration that it referring to TV as it's singular noun. Okay. Then, what about number two? I mean, our point number three. Pick up your things. How we can use the pronoun referring to things? So, pick them up. Why? Because things here is plural pronoun. So, pick up. I mean, pick them up. Okay? Ever never say, turn down it. No, it's wrong. If I never say, pick up them. So, what is the difference between rule number one and rule number three? The only difference is that when we use the phrasal verb with the noun, the noun either comes after the preposition or between the main verb and the preposition. Okay, what about the pronoun? So, when I say, I mean, when I use the pronoun, it should, it must come between the main verb and the preposition or the adverb. So we cannot have any other option. Okay? The third step of our grammatical rule, how we can make a request and respond to that request. For example, please turn down the music. Turn down the music. Let's imagine that the music is very loud. Okay? And I'm asking someone to Turn down the music, which means reduce the volume of the music. So, please, turn down the music. Honestly speaking, it's an imperative way of making order. But when I use please, it means a little bit something which is much more gentle or a gentle, a gentle way. Okay? Turn down the music. Or, here we have our answer. So when I say, turn down the music, how can I answer it? First of all, I have to say, okay, which means that you are going to obey the order or to do it. So, okay, I am. Pay attention to that. I am is the abbreviation of what? So, I am means I will. So, here we have also double L, okay, means will. So, okay, I am or I will turn it down. Okay, here I used it as a pronoun referring to a singular noun which is music. Okay, so it referring to what? To music as singular. Okay, one more example. When I say, pick up your clothes please, I'm asking someone, I'm ordering him. Okay, pick up. Okay, try to collect. Pick up your clothes please. How can he answer me? <clears throat> so, all right, okay, all right, or okay, first of all, then, I am, I will, I pick them up. So here, <clears throat> instead of using the <clears throat> clothes as a noun, I use them as an object pronoun referring to what? Referring to clothes, which is a plural noun, okay? So, here we have come to the end of our grammatical rule to make it more clear okay let's look at our board and here we have some exercise or exercise A complete the requests with these words then compare with a partner honestly we have some points our exercise consisting of 10 points from 1 through 10 how can we use these phrasal verbs with the nouns given under each picture let's see Number one, pick up. Try to collect, okay? Pick up. Pick up what? Space, please. So, if we look at picture number two, here we have some toys which are scattered here and there. How can we collect them? How can I ask someone to collect these things to make an order, a nice order? So, pick up the toys, okay? Pick up the toys, please. Or, yes. Pick the toys up, please. 
Okay, don't forget when I use a phrase verb with the noun I have the option. It's up to you. Either we use the noun, okay, after the preposition or between the main verb and the preposition or the adverb. So pick up the toys or pick the toys up, please. Okay, don't forget to say please. It's an order, it's a nice order. Okay, number two, turn the space off. Please. So, how can I ask someone to switch off the lights, for example, or the TV? So, if we look at, yes, this picture, here we have a noun as lights. How can I ask someone to switch off the lights? So, turn the lights off, please. Or how can we say it another way? Turn off the lights, please. Okay, since we have an oven, again, I'm reminding you, since we have an oven, so we have the option, either we use it after the preposition or between the main verb and the preposition. Okay, one more example. Number three, for example, how can I ask someone to clean the floor if there is a garbage or a trash? So, how can we use it? Clean. What? Clean what? Clean the trash. Okay? So, clean the trash up, please. Okay? So, this is one more example. Let's have one more, <coughs> one more example here. Number four. Please put space away. How can I ask someone to take something away? So, let's see number... Okay? So, what about number... Yes. Again, the trash. So, put the trash away please imagine that it smells so bad so here i ask someone or i order someone to take or to put the trash away okay since it has a very bad smell you know, trash means garbage so here we have some uh, some other points from five through ten so it's up to you so i'm asking you just to go over this exercise and answer the rest of our points if we have, I mean, if you have any difficult point or any question, try to be back again on the website or communicate with me through, through, through our WhatsApp, okay? Thanks so much.